celebration event is going on now at Lithia Chrysler Jeep Dodge of Medford. We're stocked up on a great selection of new vehicles from Chrysler, Jeep, Dodge, and of course, Ram trucks. Choose from our great inventory of new Jeep Gladiator and Grand Cherokee 4x4 models in stock now. Or test drive a new 24 Ram 1500 4x4. Shop online today with our online process to calculate your own payment, whether it's a lease, finance, or cash payment. Only at the Lithia Chrysler Jeep Dodge of Medford Superstore. Hi guys, my name is Mason Mahaffey. I'm the Solar Pros Manager of Oregon, and I'm also a teacher and a coach here in the Rogue Valley. Have you looked into solar panels and it didn't make financial sense? I brought Solar Pros here to Oregon to make it more affordable for working class families to put solar on their home. Solar Pros is purposely beating our competitors' prices by thousands of dollars because we are that serious about saving you money. Solar Pros PNW provides the most comfortable, educational, and personal solar experience in Oregon. Visit our Facebook page at Solar Pros PNW to see all of our projects and all the families that we are helping save money. Thanks for the ride. I'll see you after the game. Hey, um... Dear Katie, I've been your number one fan since I watched your first game all those years ago, and I still love watching you play. But I wanted to see you win so badly that my competitive nature got the best of me. I lost track of what's important. I thought I was supporting you, but I was really just embarrassing you. I'm not your coach, and I'm not an official. I forgot my role. I'm your parent, and you deserve better. From here on, I promise to keep my emotions under control. I'll cheer for you and all the other players, no matter the score, no matter the outcome. Thank you for sharing with me how I can do a better job of supporting you, your team, your coaches, and the sports you love. Still your number one fan. Love, Dad. Hello and welcome to this live video streaming event from Table Rock Sports Productions in partnership with our local school districts and outstanding sponsors who make these live presentations possible. I'm Jeff Smith with Mikhail Weish coming to you live from Grants Pass High School here in Grants Pass, Oregon. We thank you for joining us today. Welcome to the Lithia Superstore pregame show presented by Siskiyou Cellular in Southern Oregon. Today we're featuring day two of the Crater Tournament. It'll be the Sunset Apollos taking on the Grants Pass Cavemen. We are pleased you're joining us today on TableRockSports.net, and we welcome our home and visiting fans to the broadcast. Joe Brett is our executive producer for today's event. Our sponsors keep these events free for fans to enjoy. Please let them know you appreciate their support, and you can support Table Rock sports by subscribing to our YouTube channel and a big thank you to our over 3,300 fans who are already subscribed. So let's take a look at our two teams, the Sunset Apollos have not lost yet in the tournament, looking to go 3-0 and today. The Cavers are on the opposite side of that. They have not won a game yet in the tournament, losing last night to Southridge. And earlier today, losing to Corvallis. So the Cavemen looking for their first win of the tournament. The Apollos looking to continue the winning ways here the other tournament games going on, most of the rest of the games have been played at Eagle Point High School. And we're just about ready to get this one started. This is an interesting matchup here. A couple of uh, top players in Oregon playing on these two teams in the 2024 class. Uh, Troy Osborne, a Sacramento State commit, is in the top 10 for the Baseball Northwest prospects. And in the 2025 class, on the other side, it's Cruz Schoolcraft who will be pitching in today's game. He is the number one prospect in the 2025 class 
for Baseball Northwest. So a matchup of a couple of the top players in the state. And, of course, Osborne, the senior catcher for the Cavemen, and Schoolcraft, who will be pitching, also plays first base, a junior for the Sunset Apollos. So we're going to step aside, and as the umpires and coaches meeting at home plate, exchanging lineups, we'll take a break. We'll come back with the starting lineups, and we'll get this one started right after this. Diverse venues, we got them. Year-round sports access, you bet. Race cars, soccer, paragliding, check, check, check. Medford has it covered as your sport ground, where the West Coast plays. Okay, you know how people complain about how Dutch Bros workers are like, too nice, too hyper, compliment you too much, whatever. Maybe you're not nice enough. Maybe you need to get a little Dutch Bros in here. Discover the West Coast destination for those seeking more. More sunny days, more athletic facilities, more outdoor adventures, more to do during downtime. Medford is your sport ground, where the West Coast plays. It's game day, or a family get together. Sherms has the quality products and prices that will make you cheer. Sherms Thunderbird Market, Medford's original discount grocery store. You want diverse venues? We got them. Year-round sports access? You bet. Race cars, soccer, paragliding? Check, check, check. Medford has it covered as your sport ground, where the West Coast plays. Adventures start at Pinnacle 365. Accelerate your day with morning motivation. Freshly ground, swiftly brewed from fresh bean to cup in no time at all. And now we're here for your daily dinner adventures. Introducing crispy crunchy chicken online ordering. Mouthwatering crispy crunchy chicken for dinner made deliciously easy. Just open the app or visit the website. Select a pickup time. Choose from your favorites. And your crispy crunchy chicken will be prepared hot and fresh. Make dinner a breeze at Pinnacle 365. Welcome back to Grants Pass High School and your Lithia Superstore game of the day on TableRockSports.net, powered by Siskiyou Cellular in Southern Oregon. And we're just about ready to get things started between the Sunset Apollos and the Grants Pass Cavemen as the Cavemen take the field. Starting lineups brought to you by Peak Rewards. Use the Peak Rewards app to order crispy, crunchy chicken and sides Choose your favorite item, set a time, and pick up a great dinner ready to serve on the way home. So let's take a look at the defensive arrangement for the Cavemen. It'll be Luke Morgan on the bump. Osborne will be behind the plate catching. McGowan at first. Carnes will be at second. Morris is at short. Valenzuela at third. Reynolds in left. Zavolta in center and Lier in right field. And the batting order for the Apollos. Batting first will be the shortstop, Max Ellerbrook. Chun will catch and bat second. Schoolcraft will bat third, he's the pitcher. Anderson is the first baseman, he bats fourth. Batting fifth is Sullivan, he's at third base. Robach will be at second base, he will bat sixth. Batting seventh, Newman is the designated hitter. Jevening will bat eighth and play center field. And in left field, the number nine hitter will be Torgensen with Riley in right field, not in the batting order, with Newman hitting for Riley. So there's your lineups. Morgan out finishing his warmups. And we're ready for some good baseball. Mostly cloudy again today, but a little warmer than yesterday. Shouldn't be any rain. We had a fair amount of rain during the 4 o'clock game yesterday. And to 
tomorrow looking to be the most questionable <laughs> of the weather days as they're calling for more rain tomorrow. So we'll see how things go as we will also have the four o'clock game for the Grants Pass Cavemen coming up tomorrow here on TableRockSports.net. So Max Ellerbrook steps in to face Luke Morgan, and we're ready to get this one underway. First pitch, 4.02 first pitch time, 57 degrees and mostly cloudy. Swinging a foul, and that evens the count at one and one. The 1-1 one, one pitch is outside for a ball. 2-1. and one. Morgan staring in, taking a long time. Now he's ready to go. 2-1 two, pitch is in for a strike. It's 2-2. Two and two. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> The scoreboard caught me. That first pitch was called a strike, so that's a strikeout. Um, they had put a ball up on the scoreboard, and I missed it. I apologize. So a strikeout, and first pitch swinging is Chun. Hits one well. Hits one to the base of the fence in right field. Chun will stop at second with a double. And so one on and one out. And it'll be the pitcher, Schoolcraft, the lefty, coming up to hit here in the first. So Chun out at second with one out. Schoolcraft the hitter. Morgan checking the runner. He'll come to the plate. Outside for a ball, 1-0. Morgan comes to the plate, took something off that, got the inside corner for a strike. One one count to Schoolcraft. Chun with a healthy lead off the bag at second. Here's the pitch. Inside, two and one. Morgan's pitch, foul back, and the count evens up at two and two. The plate, the count goes full, three and two. Swing and a foul, that'll get out of play and it remains three and two. Score from earlier today, the game that finished up here at Grants Pass High School before the start of this one, Southridge defeating Glencoe two to nothing. Another three, two delivery, and that's ball four outside. Runners at first and second with a one away. 
And the hitter will be Anderson. Connor Anderson getting the start at first for the Apollos. First pitch misses outside to Anderson. Southridge, who beat Grants Pass yesterday, winning that game earlier today. They have not lost yet in the tournament as well. Swinging a fister right back to the pitcher. They'll double off the runner at first. And the inning ends with a nice double play. Chun left out at second. And no, no score across here in the top of the inning. We head to the bottom of the first, and we'll be right back. Choose a company that best represents you and our local community. Choose a company that focuses on relationships rather than transactions. Choose a company that empowers their employees and provides growth opportunities from within. Choose a company that shows compassion and rises to the occasion in times of need. Call a John L. Scott broker today. Pick it up. Let's go. Come on. Defense. Defense. What am I teaching you at home? Has this kid played before? Shoot it. Oh. Ah. Come on, ref. Open your eyes. Can't you see out there? So, which one's your kid? The referee. You can be a parent, athlete, coach, or an official. But you can only be one. Know your role. Welcome back to Grants Pass High School and your Lithia Superstore Game of the Day on TableRockSports.net. We head to the bottom of the first, and let's take a look at the defense for the Sunset Apollos. Cruz Schoolcraft, your pitcher. Chun will be behind the plate catching. Anderson at first, Robach, Robuck at second, Ellerbrook at short, Sullivan is at third, Torgensen in left field, Jevning is in center, and Riley out in right field. And the batting order for the Cavemen leading off will be Evan Valenzuela getting the start out at third. The catcher, Troy Osborne, will bat second. Luke Morgan will bat third, and he's the pitcher. Lierre's in right batting fourth. Cole Carnes batting fifth and playing second. Reynolds in left batting sixth. Reese bats seventh, he's the DH. Morris is at short batting eighth. McGowan bats ninth, he's the first baseman. And Zavolta not in the batting order, out in center field. And a one strike count to Valenzuela. And that one caught the umpire. You could hear the shin guard all the way up here. Just ignore the, the term shin guard because regardless of whether you're wearing it or not, those hurt. So he walks that one off. It is a ball, and the count goes to one and one. Swing and a miss. It's one and two. Down on strikes goes Valenzuela. So both pitchers start the start the their half of the inning with a strikeout. And the hitter will be Osborne.
The lefty deals to Osborne outside for a ball, 1-0. That's a strike on the outside corner. And the count one and one. Swing and a miss from Osborne and Schoolcraft gets ahead of him, one and two. Foul tipped and that one into the dirt, so staying alive is Osborne. Another one-two pitch. And another strikeout. Back-to-back -back strikeouts for Schoolcraft to start the first. And Luke Morgan will be the hitter. Morgan couldn't hold up and swings through the first pitch. Here's the 0-1. Strike called, 0-2. Strike three called, and Schoolcraft strikes out the side. Three up, three down here in the bottom of the first. We head to the second. No score. We'll be right back. Game day for a family get-together. Sherms has the quality products and prices that will make you cheer. Sherms Thunderbird Market, Medford's original discount grocery store. Your game day adventures start at Pinnacle 365. Kick off your day with some morning motivation. Then add some crunch to your game day with mouthwatering crispy crunchy chicken featuring the chicken crunch box, tenders crunch box, and introducing a contender for best chicken sandwich in the West, the Big Cluck. But wait, here's the real MVP move. Download and use the Peak Rewards app and save big on fuel every day with in-store purchases. Fuel your day, fuel your fun. Pinnacle 365. Whether it's game day or a family get-together, Sherms has the quality products and prices that will make you cheer. Sherms Thunderbird Market, Medford's original discount. Welcome back to Grants Pass High School and your Lithia Superstore Game of the Day on TableRockSports.net. Powered by Siskiyou Cellular in Southern Oregon. We head to the second, no score in this one. Only one hit so far, the Apollos with the, the Chun double in the first. And they come to bat here in the second. It'll be the five, six, seven hitters, Sullivan, Robuck, and Newman scheduled to hit here in the second for the Apollos. Morgan finishing his warm-ups here. A little delay to getting things started as Morgan was the last batter in the top of the frame. Some of the other teams. At last check, Corvallis 1-2 and two in the tournament. Glencoe 0-3. Of course, Grants Pass right now 0 and 2, and Eagle Point 2 and 0, and that's a strike to Sullivan. And that's strike two. Still getting used to the umpire's call and his hand motions here. A little different than yesterday. 
That one fouled out of play and it'll remain 0-2. That one bounces in, it's one and two. Sullivan waiting on the one, two. And Morgan's pitch is outside, it's two and two. The 2-2 pitch, swing and a miss, down on strikes. Goes Sullivan. Parker, Roebuck. And it'll be Roebuck, the hitter. That pitch misses for ball one. Swing and a miss, it's one and one. Tipped into the glove for strike two. That's lifted foul, that'll get out of play. Over the pitcher, charging is Carnes and he will make the play in time. McGowan with the stretch over at first and there's two away. Well, and I had the batting order. I, I had Riley not hitting in the order. We'll have to change that. This is Riley. So, appears that Newman may be who is being hit for as Riley goes down 0-2. And the count goes to one and two. Swing and a miss. And the out recorded. Another strikeout. And the inning over. Three up, three down here in the top of the second. Cavers coming about in the bottom half when we come back. I ride the bus a lot. RVTD's UMO app with fare capping means I will never pay more than the daily or monthly cap. RVTD gets me to school, work, volunteering, shopping, and even coffee for a fixed amount each month. UMO gives me one less thing to worry about. Thanks, RVTD. Bill's Glass covers the full spectrum of your glass needs and dreams. Having new windows installed by Bill's Glass dramatically update and improves the look of your home and helps reduce energy bills year-round. Let Bill's Glass show you what you've been missing. Bill's Glass, the largest glass company in Southern Oregon for your home and auto, as well as the trusted industry leader for over 50 years. Locally owned, family run, Bill's Glass in Ashland, Medford, and Grants Pass. Welcome back to Grants Pass High School and the Lithia Superstore Game of the Day on TableRockSports.net. 
Four, five, six hitters coming up for the Cavemen. Lear, Carnes, and Reynolds to face Cruz Schoolcraft. And the first pitch is outside for a ball to Lear. Foul at the plate. And it's one and one. Two and one. Outside, three and one to Lier. And that's up for ball four. So the leadoff hitter aboard for the Cavemen and Cole Carnes will be the hitter. Lefty versus lefty matchup. And the way these pitchers are pitching so far in this one, this is a move them, get them on, move them over, get them home, and they do. They'll bunt, get the runner to second. Good stretch over there from Anderson. He was almost pulled off the bag. So the out recorded on the bunt, but the sacrifice successful moving the runner over to second, and it'll be Reynolds, the hitter. So Lier now out at second. Reynolds waiting for the... Swing and a miss. And the count's one and one. Gets back, nobody covering. Another check swing that wasn't checked and it's strike two, one and two. Here's the one, two to Reynolds. Strike three called on the inside corner and there's two away. And the hitter will be Braden Reese. And Reese takes a strike. One pitch is up and away, it's one and one. And that's strike two, one and two.
Strike three called, a couple of strikeouts to end the inning. One runner left on, and after two complete, no score in this one. We'll step aside, come back with the third right after this. All right, let's go, guys. 15 minutes. Get your stuff. Bye, Mom. Have a good day, guys. I don't know what happened. Just the next time, we'll look slower and figure it out. Okay, I get it. What you're going to do is you're going to take the line. Life is busy. Juggling everything can be overwhelming. We've all been there. So consumed with our own lives that we sometimes forget about what someone else might be going through. Ref, come on! No, ref! There's no contact! I'm straight up! That is a terrible So goal. keep it in perspective, because we're all hoping for the same thing, to be respected for who we are and what we do. Remember, no ref, no game. You can be a parent, athlete, coach, or an official. But you can only be one. Know your. Top half of the third. And the Sunset Apollos coming to bat. It'll be the eight, nine, and one hitters, we believe, is who we'll have. We already. Had one mistake in our lineup card that we got fixed last half inning. But it'll be Jevning and Torgensen will be the first two hitters. And then we'll, we'll see if we end up at back at the top of the order. Should be back to Ellerbrook. But Jevning to face Morgan. Swings at the first pitch. Lifts it out to right field. Lier moving over toward the line. Tracks it down. One pitch. And a one out. Now for sunset number seven, Elijah Torgensen. And it will be Elijah Torgensen hitting next. He'll square to bunt, gets one down back to the pitcher, Morgan. Morgan makes the throw over in time. Two pitches and two outs. Here in the third, Number 12. and we go to the top of the order. It'll be Ellerbrook. Coach, third base coach calling time, talking to his hitter, Ellerbrook. Ellerbrook struck out his first at bat. Squares the bunt and takes a strike. Outside, ball one. One and one. And Ellerbrook fouls it back, and the count goes to one and two. Check swing, umpire appeals to first, no swing, and it's two and two. Morgan deals, strike three on the outside corner. Three up, three down here in the third. Cavemen coming to bat when we come back. It takes meticulous planning. Continuous monitoring. 
and forward thinking to deliver the perfect three egg omelet. Enjoy the patio weather and a brand new menu at Tap Rock Northwest Grill, where friends and family gather and memories are made. Come visit us today or visit our website. Welcome back to Grants Pass High School as Cruz Schoolcraft finishes his warm ups for sunset. And the Grants Pass Cavemen coming to bat. It'll be the 8, 9, and 1 hitters. Morris, McGowan, and Valenzuela scheduled to hit here in the bottom of the third. First pitch to Morris, check swing, called strike. Strike two. That's strike three called and a three pitch strike out of Morris. And it'll be McGowan up next. And McGowan takes a strike. a tough matchup for McGowan. Lefty versus lefty, but the tall left-hander really got to be a challenge for left-handed hitters as that strike two called. Here's the 0-2. And another three-pitch strikeout, and there's two away. And the hitter will be Valenzuela. Another lefty-lefty matchup. Valenzuela struck out in his first at bat. And that's outside for a ball, 1-0. Swinging a foul back to the screen. Foul back again, it's one and two. Valenzuela wanted time, he didn't get it. The pitch outside, two and two. Two, two pitch, called strike three. Three strikeouts here in the third for Schoolcraft. We head to the fourth, still no score in this one. 
celebration event is going on now at Lithia Chrysler Jeep Dodge of Medford. We're stocked up on a great selection of new vehicles from Chrysler Jeep Dodge and, of course, Ram trucks. Choose from our great inventory of new Jeep Gladiator and Grand Cherokee 4x4 models in stock now. Or test drive a new 24 Ram 1500 4x4. Shop online today with our online process to calculate your own payment, whether it's a lease, finance, or cash payment. Only at the Lithia Chrysler Jeep Dodge of Medford Superstore. Your game day adventure starts at Pinnacle 365. Kick off your day with some morning motivation. Then add some crunch to your game day with mouth-watering crispy crunchy chicken party meals. Featuring bone-in, tenders, and wings. Make sure you remember the biscuits. You're sure to be the hit of the party when you show up with the crispy crunchy chicken party meal. Plus, with our Peak Rewards app, you can be earning savings on fuel for your next fill-up. Enjoy your game day adventures more at Pinnacle 365. Welcome back to Grants Pass High School and your Lithia Superstore Game of the Day on TableRockSports.net, powered by Siskiyou Cellular in Southern Oregon. We head to the fourth. Still no score, only one hit in this game. That was in the first inning. It was Dakota Chun. He will lead things off here in the fourth. His double, the only hit so far. Both pitchers have been dealing so far in this one. So it'll be Chun, Schoolcraft, and Anderson scheduled to hit here in the top of the fourth to face Luke Morgan. And that pitch misses for a ball, 1-0. Strike called, it's 1-1. One and, one and one. I don't know if I already said that. It was 1-0. and oh. It's now 1-1. One and one. Called strike. That's pounded foul off the plate. Here's the one two. Swing and a miss. Chun goes down on strikes, and there's one away here in the fourth. Schoolcraft the hitter. Lines that one into center field. Zavolta with a beat on it. Makes the play. And there's two away here in the fourth. And the hitter will be Connor Anderson. Strike on the outside corner, 0 and 1. That one lined into right and reaching up is Lier to make the play. Three up, three down here in the top of the fourth. Cavemen coming to bat in the bottom of the frame right after this. U.S. Cellular for years now. They asked me to tell you about their special customer event, Us Days. Exclusive deals, like up to $1,200 for any new phone. So I said, if I'm going to be on TV, think I can get hair and makeup? And I even got a manicure, too. Us Days at U.S. Cellular. Get up to $1,200 to upgrade to any new phone. <laughs> Visit U.S. Cellular at Siskiyou, Southern Oregon's exclusive authorized agent for U.S. Cellular, now serving Roseburg and Klamath Falls. See SOUSCellular.com for details. Don't Oh my god. It's 
it's pretty freaking dope, dude. I, I love every single day of it. Welcome back. Check out the new sports voice in Southern Oregon, the Ace Sports Radio, AM 1300, FM 107.9, and streaming live at theacesportsradio.com. Featuring the VSIN Network, the Rich Eisen Show, live March Madness games, and our weekly local show, Tee It Up Southern Oregon, with Joe Brett, the Ace Sports Radio. Leading off for the Cavemen here in the fourth, it'll be Troy Osborne. He'll be followed by Morgan and Lier. And Schoolcraft's first pitch is a strike. And that's ball one, one and one. Osborne, the Sacramento State commit, the senior for the Cavemen. And the count goes to two and one. Foul tipped into the glove, it's two and two. Of course, Osborne committing to Sacramento State to play baseball. He also played football here for the Cavemen, but he will play baseball at Sacramento State next year. Hits this one to second. Roebuck had a little trouble with it, but got it over in time for the out. And there's one away here in the bottom of the fourth, and Luke Morgan will be the hitter. First pitch to Morgan in for a strike. Luke struck out looking in his first at bat. Of course, most of the team has struck out in this one as Schoolcraft has been on his game today. And a quick strikeout. And with two down, it'll be Bruxton Lier coming to the plate. Strike called. One one count. Swing and a miss, it's one and two. High for a ball, two and two. Time called as Lier steps out. Two two count with two outs. We're in the bottom of the fourth. Strikeout number 10 for Schoolcraft and the cavemen go down in order here in the fourth. We head to the fifth, still no score in this one. Celebration event is going on now at Lithia Chrysler Jeep Dodge of Medford. We're stocked up on a great selection of new vehicles from Chrysler Jeep Dodge and, of course, Ram trucks. Choose from our great inventory of new Jeep Gladiator and Grand Cherokee 4x4 models in stock now. Or test drive a new 24 Ram 1500 4x4. Shop online today with our online process to calculate your own payment, whether it's a lease, finance, or cash payment. Only at the Lithia Chrysler Jeep Dodge of Medford Superstore. Hi, guys. My name's Mason Mahaffey. 
I'm the Solar Pros manager of Oregon, and I'm also a teacher and a coach here in the Rogue Valley. Have you looked into solar panels and it didn't make financial sense? I brought Solar Pros here to Oregon to make it more affordable for working class families to put solar on their home. Solar Pros is purposely beating our competitors' prices by thousands of dollars because we are that serious about saving you money. Solar Pros PNW provides the most comfortable, educational, and personal solar experience in Oregon. Visit our Facebook page at Solar Pros PNW to see all of our projects and all the families that we are helping save money. To score. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Grants Pass High School and your Lithia Superstore Game of the Day on TableRockSports.net, powered by Siskiyou Cellular in Southern Oregon. And we got a good one for you here. If you like a pitcher's duel, you're getting one here today. Only one hit between the two teams. Sunset has the only hit. 15 total strikeouts in this one, 10 for Schoolcraft. Five for Morgan. They've each only surrendered one walk apiece. It's going to be the five, six, seven hitters coming up here in the top of the fifth. Sullivan, Roebuck, Roebuck and Riley scheduled to face Morgan. Here's the 1 0 from Morgan. Low for ball two, 2 and 0. Squares to bunt. That one's going to go foul. And the count, two and one. That one lifted to down the line in right field. That'll be foul. Drops without a play. Part of that area down, down the line is out of play on this field. The 2-2 two -two to Sullivan. Strike three called. Strikeout number six for Morgan, and there's one away here in the fifth. And we've got a new hitter here. It's gonna be Maddox Montoya who Takes a first pitch strike. Outside corner strike two called. I don't know about that one. That may have been off the plate a bit, but nonetheless, the count goes to 0-2. That one's off the plate for ball one, one and two. And that's ball two. Just off the plate, three and two. And that one is, oh, just off the glove of McGowan, as he went out into foul territory to try and make a play on that, just couldn't quite haul it in. Looks like we're going to have another pinch hitter coming up after, after Montoya. Here's the payoff. Low for a ball. And Montoya heads down to first with one away. Now up, number nine, Cole Sauter. And this will be Cole Sauter hitting here in the seventh slot. Morgan. 
Morgan will come to the plate, fouled straight back. Throw over. And Montoya back in. That pitch just off the plate. And the count goes to one and one. Ground ball to short, could be two. Morris gets it to Carnes, the relay in time as McGowan with the big stretch and the double play. The side retired here in the top of the fifth. Cavemen coming to bat, still no score. Thanks for the ride, I'll see you after the game. Hey, um, dear Katie, I've been your number one fan since I watched your first game all those years ago, and I still love watching you play. But I wanted to see you win so badly that my competitive nature got the best of me. I lost track of what's important. I thought I was supporting you, but I was really just embarrassing you. I'm not your coach and I'm not an official. I forgot my role. I'm your parent and you deserve better. From here on, I promise to keep my emotions under control. I'll cheer for you and all the other players, no matter the score, no matter the outcome. Thank you for sharing with me how I can do a better job of supporting you, your team, your coaches, and the sports you love. Still your number one fan. Love that. Welcome back. Starting it off for the caveman, number nine, Cole Carnes. Cole Carnes will lead things off for the caveman here. It'll be Carnes, Reynolds, and Reese scheduled to hit to face Cruz Schoolcraft. Schoolcraft with 50 pitches unofficially through four innings as he pitches here in the fifth. And the first pitch to Carnes is a strike. Strike two called on the inside corner. Carnes quickly down 0 and 2. Foul back, he stays alive. Back up the middle. Going to be a tough play for Ellerbrook, and he can't get it. It's an infield hit. And safe at first is Carnes. And Reese Reynolds will be the hitter. Reynolds squared to bunt. The throw goes over to first. Back in safely is Carnes. And Reynolds offers it that. Can't get a piece of it in the count 0-1. Throw over. Carnes back in easily. The 
bunt down right back to the pitcher. The only play will be at first, and just the throw just gets there in time. But they move the runner up. And the hitter will be Reese. So Carnes now down at second with one out. Reese the hitter. And Reese fouls the first pitch off. Got it in on his hands a little. And Schoolcraft steps off, so Carnes causing a little havoc out there. And Reese takes a strike, and it's 0-2. That one gets away from the catcher. Carnes over to third. Gets in without a throw. And the count one and two to Reese. Swing and a miss. And there's two away. Morris will be the hitter. Swing and a miss. Strike two. Just missing, it's one and two. The one, two to Morris, two and two. A lot of foul territory here at Grants pass, but the backstop is very springy, so pass balls often come right back to the plate. That is a swing and a miss. Another strikeout. Cavemen get their first hit, but fail to score. Still no score as we're through five. We'll step aside, come back with the sixth right after this. Diverse venues, we got them. Year-round sports access, you bet. Race cars, soccer, paragliding, check, check, check. Medford has it covered as your sport ground, where the West Coast plays. Okay, you know how people complain about how Dutch Bros workers are like, too nice, too hyper, compliment you too much, whatever. Maybe you're not nice enough. Maybe you need to get a little Dutch Bros in here. Discover the West Coast destination for those seeking more. More sunny days, more athletic facilities, more outdoor adventures, more to do during downtime. Medford is your sport ground, where the West Coast plays.
Solar Pros and owner Mason Mahaffey invite you to learn how you can save thousands on solar panel installation for your home. Visit Solar Pros Facebook page to learn more. Go to Facebook and search Solar Pros PNW. Jevning, Torgensen, and Ellerbrook scheduled to hit here in the top of the sixth. Luke Morgan back out on the mound. It's been a pitcher's duel. It's been a beauty of a game so far. That one lifted toward right. That's going to hook foul and out of play. Morgan has thrown 59 pitches, six strikeouts, and two walks. That's a strike, and it's 0-2. Jevening waiting on the 0-2. Back to the pitcher. Morgan takes his time, throws across for the out. Next up, number seven, Eliza Torgerson. And there's one away, and Torgensen will be the hitter. And that's a strike called. That one just a bit outside. It's one and one. Strike called, and it's one and two. Strike three called, outside corner, down goes Torgensen, and there's two away. Number 12, Max Ellibrook. And Ellibrook will be the hitter. Ellibrook 0 for 2 on the day. Hits that one past the pitcher. Taken by Carnes at second. He'll throw to McGowan. Three up, three down inning here in the top of the six. We head to the bottom half of the frame. Cavemen coming to bat. It'll be McGowan, Valenzuela, and Osborne scheduled to hit when we come back. Choose a company that best represents you and our local community. Choose a company that focuses on relationships rather than transactions. Choose a company that empowers their employees and provides growth opportunities from within. Choose a company that shows compassion and rises to the occasion in times of need. Call a John L. Scott broker today. Pick it up. Let's go. Come on. Defense. Defense. What am I teaching you at home? Has this kid played before? Shoot it! Oh! Ah! Come on, ref! Open your eyes! Can't you see out there? So, which one's your kid? The referee. You can be a parent, athlete, coach, or an official. But you can only be one. Know your role. No runs and one hit for the Apollos. No runs and one hit for the Cavemen. The Cavemen coming to bat in the bottom of the six. And it's going to be the nine, one, and two hitters scheduled to hit McGowan, Valenzuela, and Osborne. Before or after the game is a great time to visit Dutch Bros and enjoy your favorite beverage. Drink One for Dane is coming in May. Over $2.5 million has been raised for the Muscular Dystrophy Association in 18 years by Dutch Bros and the customers who support them. 
So the lefty McGowan, oh, and McGowan is, is that gonna be a foul ball? It was, so he had squared to bunt, tried to get out of the way of that, and unfortunately for Jace, it hit his bat for strike one. Swinging away, and this one will be scooped up by Montoya. He'll make the play, and there's one away. And the hitter will be Valenzuela. And he swings and misses the first one. Valenzuela has struck out twice. The 0-1 swung on and missed. Fouled out of play. And the count remains 0-2. And that misses one and two. That one low and inside, the count goes to two and two. That one is into shallow center. That'll drop in for a hit. A one-out base runner as Valenzuela gets aboard for the Cavers. And it'll be Osborne. Now for the game man number 10, Troy Osborne. Osborne 0 for 2. He struck out in his first at bat, grounded out in his last at bat. First pitch to Osborne is a ball, 1 and 0. Swing, and that one fisted into left field. That's a base hit. Valenzuela will hold it second. Two on with one out for the Cavers. And the hitter will be Morgan. And we're going to get a trip to the mound. Today's game is brought to you by Tap Rock Northwest Bar and Grill in Grants Pass, Elmer's Restaurants of Medford, and the Southern Oregon Sports Commission's Know Your Role campaign, promoting respectful behavior at youth sporting events. Spring sports action is also brought to you by our title sponsor, Lithia Superstore Jeep Dodge Chrysler, where you can find great deals on the lot or at lithiasuperstore.com. And our presenting sponsor, Siskiyou Cellular of Southern Oregon, now with nine locations nearby to serve you. Morgan the hitter. First pitch swinging and fouls it off for strike one. And Schoolcraft looks Valenzuela back to the bag at second. Oh, yeah. 
Here's the 0-1 to Morgan. Takes a ball outside. One and one. Check swing, strike called, it's one and two. That pitch misses, it's two and two. The runner back once again. Swing and a miss. Down on strikes goes Morgan. And Lee Air will be the hitter with two away. That's a grounder back to the pitcher. Schoolcraft will run it over to the bag. He makes the toss. Cavers leave a pair of runners. They get a couple of hits in the inning, but fail to score. We will head to the seventh. Still no score in this one. And we'll be right back. Choose a company that best represents you and our local community. Choose a company that focuses on relationships rather than transactions. Choose a company that empowers their employees and provides growth opportunities from within. Choose a company that shows compassion and rises to the occasion in times of need. Call a John L. Scott broker today. Pick it up. Let's go. Come on. Defense. Defense. What am I teaching you at home? Has this kid played before? Shoot it! Oh! Ah! Come on, ref! Open your eyes! Can't you see out there? So, which one's your kid? The referee. You can be a parent, athlete, coach, or an official. But you can only be one. Know your role. Welcome back to Grants Pass High School. And the Lithia Superstore game of the day on TableRockSports.net, powered by Siskiyou Cellular in Southern Oregon. Top of the seventh. Two, three, four hitters scheduled to hit here in the seventh for the Sunset Apollos. It'll be Chun, Schoolcraft, and Anderson. Morgan back out on the mound for the Cavemen. Taking a look at his stats on the mound. He's got seven strikeouts, two walks. Unofficially, he's thrown 66 pitches to this point. So Morgan's still in good shape out there. Chun has the only sunset hit. It was a double back in the first. And he takes a pitch outside for ball one. Just missing with that one. It's 2-0. and oh. Strike on the inside corner, it's two and one. Chopper to third, 
Valenzuela with the throw across in time, and there's one away here in the seventh. Skullcraft will be the hitter. Schoolcraft 0 for 1 on the day. He also has a walk. He lined out to center field in his last at bat. And we'll get a quick meeting on the mound here. I think this is just all about strategy right now. a strike. One one pitch. Low ball two. Swinging a chopper, Morgan will take it. Shovels to McGowan, and there's two away. And the hitter will be Anderson. An 0 for 2 on the day, a line out and a fly out. And he takes ball one. That one driven to center field. Zavolta will watch it hit the fence. Anderson to second. He'll hold there with a double, a two out base runner for the Apollos. Sullivan the hitter. Takes ball one, one and oh. Ball two, two and oh. Anderson the runner at second. Sullivan at the plate, plate with a 2-0 count. Strike called, two and one. It's 350 to straightaway center here. That ball was just a little bit to the right of center field, and that had to travel about 347. <laughs> That's ball three, three and one. That's up high for ball four. Runners at first and second with two outs. And Montoya will be the hitter. Montoya 
pinch hit his first at bat. He drew a walk. Check swing and they're going to appeal and no, he did not go. I, <laughs> I'm not sure that needed an appeal. I'm not sure that wasn't in the strike zone, but it's going to be ball one. One zero count to Montoya. Called strike on the inside corner. It's one and one. Morgan's one one pitch. Chopper to third, and diving to the bag, not in time. Valenzuela was the only play he had. He had a dive to stab that ball. His only chance was to win the foot race to the bag, but Anderson gets in ahead of Valenzuela. The bases are loaded, and Sauter will be the hitter. So an infield single. It's only the second hit for Sunset today. But Sauter up here with the bases loaded and two outs. Swing and a miss for strike one. Sorry, our scoreboard has fallen behind here. Get that squared away. Strike on the outside corner. Morgan's 0-2. Just off the plate, one and two. I take that back, I apologize. That was the third hit. So both teams with three hits now. One, two count to Sauter. Swing and a miss! Morgan with the strikeout to end the top of the seventh. Cavers coming to bat in the bottom of the frame. It's gonna be Carnes, Reynolds, and Reese scheduled to hit when we come back. game day or a family get together. Sherm's has the quality products and prices that will make you cheer. Sherm's Thunderbird Market, Medford's original discount grocery store. Your game day adventures start at Pinnacle 365. Kick off your day with some morning motivation. Then add some crunch to your game day with mouthwatering crispy crunchy chicken featuring the chicken crunch box, tenders crunch box, and introducing a contender for best chicken sandwich in the West, the Big Cluck. But wait, here's the real MVP move. Download and use the Peak Rewards app and save big on fuel every day with in-store purchases. Fuel your day, fuel your fun. Pinnacle 365. Whether it's game day or a family get-together, Sherm's has the quality products and prices that will make you cheer. Sherm's Thunderbird Market, Medford's original discount. Welcome back to Grants Pass High School and your Lithia Superstore Game of the Day on TableRockSports.net, powered by Siskiyou Cellular in Southern Oregon. Each team with three hits. 
Neither team has scored. Cavers will send up Carnes, Reynolds, and Reese. And that's low for ball one. That was the 81st pitch from school, Schoolcraft. He misses with ball two, two and oh. That's a strike, two and one. Chopper right up the middle, gonna be a tough play. And Carnes will get there without a throw as it was bobbled. I believe that'll be ruled a hit. If it is, it'll be the second for Carnes on the day. Now for the K man number one, Reese Reynolds. And Reynolds will be the hitter. Still waiting for the official score on that. Timeout is called. We'll have a another meeting on the mound. Still don't see the official. I'm gonna assume that's an infield hit. Today's game is brought to you in part by Avista Utilities and our friends from Pinnacle 365. Use your peak rewards to save on gas and use the app to order crispy, crunchy chicken and sides on the way home and have them ready to pick up and go. Pinnacle 365. So Carnes the runner down at first. Reynolds will be the hitter. We'll see if they'll ask him to bunt in this situation. They do. He gets it down back toward the pitcher. His play will be to first. Over to second goes Carnes. Reynolds with the sacrifice. And there's one away. Now for the game man number 13, Nathan Bassett. And we'll have a pinch hitter for Braden Reese. It's going to be Nathan Bassett. And another trip to the mound, and this is going to be it for Schoolcraft. So they, they're going to go with the matchup, take the lefty out. This pitching change is... Brought to you by RVTD. We'll take a break and be back with more after this. I ride the bus a lot. RVTD's UMO app with fare capping means I will never pay more than the daily or monthly cap. RVTD gets me to school, work, volunteering, shopping, and even coffee for a fixed amount each month. UMO gives me one less thing to worry about. Thanks, RVTD. Bill's Glass covers the full spectrum of your glass needs and dreams. Having new windows installed by Bill's Glass dramatically update and improves the look of your home and helps reduce energy bills year-round. Let Bill's Glass show you what you've been missing. Bill's Glass, the largest glass company in Southern Oregon for your home and auto, as well as the trusted industry leader for over 50 years. Locally owned, family run, Bill's Glass in Ashland, Medford, and Grants Pass. game day or a family get together. Sherms has the quality products and prices that will make you cheer. Sherms Thunderbird Market, Medford's original discount grocery store. You want diverse venues? We got them. 
Year-round sports access? You bet. Race cars, soccer, paragliding? Check, check, check. Medford has it covered as your sport ground, where the West Coast plays. Welcome back to Grants Pass High School and your Lithia Superstore Game of the Day on TableRockSports.net, powered by Siskiyou Cellular in Southern Oregon. So the entire battery changing here as the catcher Chun will now be the new pitcher. I can't read the number for the catcher. We'll deal with that. And they are going to walk Bassett intentionally. So Bassett down at first now as they intentionally walk him to set up the force. And Baden Morris will be the hitter. So two on and one out. The new pitcher is Chun. And that's ball one, one and oh. And that's the only danger of the intentional walk in that situation is you don't want to load the bases if he walks a guy here. That's a drive to left field. Should be playable for Torgensen. He makes the catch, and there's now two away. And McGowan will be the hitter. Swing and a chopper foul. Here's the 0-1 from Chun. Taking a long time check on the runner. This one lifted into left field. That's going to hook foul. Carnes the runner at second, Bassin, Bassett over at first. McGowan the hitter with two outs. Here's the 0-2. Swing and a miss. McGowan down on strikes. And we are going to extras. No runs in the frame. Still no score as we head to the eighth. We'll do that right after this. Game day for a family get together. Sherms has the quality products and prices that will make you cheer. Sherms Thunderbird Market, Medford's original discount grocery store. Your game day adventures start at Pinnacle 365. Kick off your day with some morning motivation. Then add some crunch to your game day with mouthwatering crispy crunchy chicken featuring the chicken crunch box, tenders crunch box, and introducing a contender for best chicken sandwich in the West, the Big Cluck. But wait, here's the real MVP move. Download and use the Peak Rewards app and save big on fuel every day with in-store purchases. Fuel your day, fuel your fun. Pinnacle 365. Whether it's game day or a family get-together, Sherm's has the quality products and prices that will make you cheer. Sherm's Thunderbird Market, Medford's original discount. Welcome back to Grants Pass High School. We head to the eighth. Morgan back on the mound for the Cavemen. I've got him 
unofficially with 88 pitches, so it's going to need to be efficient here in the eighth. But the best news for the cavemen is they've gotten into the bullpen for Sunset. So Griffin Jevening will lead off for the Apollos here in the eighth. And the first pitch is in for a strike. Jevening, Torgen, Torgerson, <laughs> Torgerson, and Ellerbrook. Strike two called. Ground ball back to Morgan, he knocks it down. Throws from his knees in time and there's one away. Next up, number seven, Elijah Torgerson. And Torgerson the hitter. Squares to bunt and takes a strike. One and one. Lifted foul and out of play, it's one and two. Torgens, Torgerson, 0 for 2 on the day. Struck out in his last at bat. He'll ground softly to second. And Carnes makes the play and there's two away. And we go to the top of the order to be Max Ellerbrook, 0 for 3 on the day. First pitch to Ellerbrook, high for ball one. Swinging a fly ball to right field. Lair going back. He'll make the play. And the side retired here in the top of the eighth. Cavers coming to bat in the bottom of the frame. It'll be the top of the order scheduled to hit when we come back. I ride the bus a lot. RVTD's UMO app with fare capping means I will never pay more than the daily or monthly cap. RVTD gets me to school, work, volunteering, shopping, and even coffee for a fixed amount each month. Yumo gives me one less thing to worry about. Thanks, RVTD. Bill's Glass covers the full spectrum of your glass needs and dreams. Having new windows installed by Bill's Glass dramatically update and improves the look of your home and helps reduce energy bills year-round. Let Bill's Glass show you what you've been missing. Bill's Glass, the largest glass company in Southern Oregon for your home and auto, as well as the trusted industry leader for over 50 years. Locally owned, family run, Bill's Glass in Ashland, Medford, and Grants Pass.
Valenzuela will, will lead things off and waves at the first one for strike one. That one lifted down the line and it'll be out of play. So Valenzuela, Osborne, and Morgan to hit here in the bottom of the eighth. That one is a dropped third strike. They will throw down in time. And Chun gets the strike out. And there's one away and Osborne will be the hitter. Ball one to Osborne. Strike called, one and one. Two and one. Outside for a ball, three and one. That one is into left field for a base hit. Osborne is aboard. His second hit of the day. And Morgan will be the hitter. Swing and fouls it straight back. So Morgan happy to be out here facing a new pitcher. He's struck out three times today. Throw over and back in safely. Now over at first base, that's, I believe that was foul tipped. And the count 0 oh and 2. Schoolcraft is the first baseman now. Still haven't confirmed who the new catcher was, but Schoolcraft is at first. 0-2 oh count to Morgan, another throw over, and Osborne back in safely once again. Here's the 0-2 to Morgan, breaking ball up high, one and two. Another throw over. Runner goes, swing and a miss. The throw down will not be in time. But now two away as Morgan strikes out. And Lear will be the hitter. So Osborne gets himself into scoring position. 
And Lear takes ball one. Chun's 1-0 is off the plate, 2-0. Fouled straight back, it's two and one. Lier waiting on the two one pitch. Outside, ball three, three and one. And now they're gonna they're gonna walk him. So the three one count, they will walk the Lier. And Cole Carnes will be the hitter. Two on and two out. Carnes swings through the first pitch. So Osborne the runner at second, Lier now down at first. Carnes the hitter trying to walk it off with something into the outfield here. But he's down 0-2. Carnes waiting on the 0-2 from Chun, and it's high and away, ball one. And timeout called as Schoolcraft comes in over from first to talk to... One, two count to Carnes. They'll throw back in safely was Osborne. Off the plate for ball two, two and two. Two-two count with two outs and two runners on. Carnes the hitter. And Chun steps off. And now Carnes will step out as Chun still not ready to go. Been some conversation from the Sunset dugout with the umpire and then also with his players. Not quite sure what it was about, but we're ready to go here. The 2-2 pitch is a ground ball to second. They'll go the short route over to Ellerbrook from Montoya, and the Apollos get out of the inning. The Cavers leave a couple of runners on base. 
And we will head to the ninth. Still no score. U.S. Cellular for years now. They asked me to tell you about their special customer event, Us Days. Exclusive deals, like up to $1,200 for any new phone. So I said, if I'm going to be on TV, think I can get hair and makeup? And I even got a manicure, too. Us Days at U.S. Cellular. Get up to $1,200 to upgrade to any new phone. <laughs> Visit U.S. Cellular at Siskiyou, Southern Oregon's exclusive authorized agent for U.S. Cellular, now serving Roseburg and Klamath Falls. See SOUSCellular.com for details. Don't stop! Get it! Get it! Don't go for my greatness! It's, it's pretty freaking dope, dude. I, I love every single day of it. Welcome back to Grants Pass High School and your Lithia Superstore Game of the Night. <laughs> it was the game of the day a little while ago. It's now the game of the night on TableRockSports.net. Powered by Siskiyou Cellular. It's going to be the two, three, four hitters coming up for Sunset. Chun, Schoolcraft, and Anderson. Morgan back out there to start this ninth inning and the first pitch is called a strike hard ground ball taking it first by McGowan he will step on the bag and there's one away here in the top of the ninth and it'll be Cruz Skullcraft the hitter And Schoolcraft takes ball one. Two and zero. Oh. Hard ground ball back up the middle for a base hit. A one out base runner for the Apollos. And the hitter will be Anderson. Connor Anderson, one for three on the day. Comes up here with one on and one out. Hits that one to left, that'll be a base hit. Reynolds over toward the line, will get it in. Runners at first and second now with only one away. And Sullivan will be the hitter. Luke Sullivan facing Luke Morgan. And that hits him and the bases are loaded. Go, 
And it'll, Maddox Montoya will be the hitter. And this may be it for Morgan. at the mound. And they're gonna leave Morgan out there. Montoya will be the hitter. He has not been retired. He's got a walk and a single since he pinch hitted, came in to pinch hit earlier in the game. Comes up here with only one out and the base is loaded. Takes a strike. Morgan could use a strike out here. Double play ball would do it too, but a strikeout would be, make things a little easier on the infielders. Chopped over the third baseman's head. One run will score. Anderson around third. He will score. Sliding into third is Sullivan. It's a RBI double for Montoya. And the first runs of the game on the board for Sunset. So the infield was in, that one chopped over. The head of Valenzuela. And that's going to be it for Morgan. So this pitching change brought to you by the Know Your Role campaign. We'll step aside be back with more right after this. Thanks for the ride. I'll see you after the game. Hey, um... Dear Katie, I've been your number one fan since I watched your first game all those years ago, and I still love watching you play. But I wanted to see you win so badly that my competitive nature got the best of me. I lost track of what's important. I thought I was supporting you, but I was really just embarrassing you. I'm not your coach and I'm not an official. I forgot my role. I'm your parent and you deserve better. From here on, I promise to keep my emotions under control. I'll cheer for you and all the other players, no matter the score, no matter the outcome. Thank you for sharing with me how I can do a better job of supporting you, your team, your coaches, and the sports you love. Still your number one fan. Love that. Welcome back to Grants Pass High School and your Lithia Superstore Game of the Night on TableRockSports.net, powered by Siskiyou Cellular in Southern Oregon. And the pitching change made. Evan Valenzuela will be the new pitcher for the Cavemen. Taking a look at Morgan. Unofficially, I had him for 106 pitches. Gave up two runs on six hits, three walks and eight strikeouts, and he hit a batter. And that was the final line on him. And we didn't get a chance to look at
Schoolcraft, his final line. Schoolcraft threw eight innings, 100, 112, or I'm sorry, he threw six and a third, 85 pitches. No runs on four hits, a walk, and 13 strikeouts. So both the starting pitchers have finished their day. And it's going to be up to Valenzuela to try and keep this a two-run ball game. The hitter hitter's going to be no. It's going to be number 13, Gresham. Oh, safe at the plate. So that was Gresham, the pinch hitter. Another run comes in to score. Jevning, and he takes ball one. Two and oh. Jevning, zero oh for three on the day. Takes the ball, three and oh. Valenzuela's 3 0 is up high, and a four pitch walk loads the bases. Still only one out. And it'll be Torgerson, Torgerson, the hitter. And that's up high for ball one. High for ball two, two and oh, and Valenzuela right now leaving everything up in the zone. Or up and out of the zone, I should say. That one's lifted foul and out of play. And the count goes to two and one. Morgan did stay in the game to play third as that one's grounded up the middle to second for one over to first, not in time. Now two away, but another run comes in. So Gresham, the runner at third, Torgerson at first. And Ellerbrook, the hitter. And we're gonna get a runner for Gresham over at third. Yeah. 
And this is going to be McGuire running at third. Uh, now they're going to bring <laughs> they're going to bring Gresham back out. So Gresham back down at third. So no runner at third. And this one chopped to third. Morgan throws across. The tag is applied. And the Cavers get out of the inning. McGowan checking on, on Ellerbrook as he slid in head first. Had to be tagged for the out. And he's shaken up a little bit on the play. But Grant's pass coming up in the bottom of the ninth. They are now trailing by four. We'll step aside, come back with more action right after this. Diverse venues, we got them. Year-round sports access, you bet. Race cars, soccer, paragliding, check, check, check. Medford has it covered as your sport ground, where the West Coast plays. Okay, you know how people complain about how Dutch Bros workers are like, too nice, too hyper, compliment you too much, whatever. Maybe you're not nice enough. Maybe you need to get a little Dutch Bros in you. Discover the West Coast destination for those seeking more. More sunny days, more athletic facilities, more outdoor adventures, more to do during downtime. Medford is your sport ground, where the West Coast plays. Welcome back to Grants Pass High School and your Lithia Superstore game of the week on TableRockSports.net, powered by Siskiyou Cellular in Southern Oregon. Chun back out on the mound, trying to get the win in this one. He's going to face Reynolds, Bassett, and Morris are the scheduled three hitters to start it off. And the first pitch to Reynolds is a strike. Strike two. So Chun trying to get the win in relief here. He's got a four-run cushion to try and get that done. Ground ball to short. Ellabrook up with it. Throws in time. And there's one away. And Bassett will be the hitter. Bassett was intentionally walked in his first at bat, and he takes a ball here, 1-0. and Outside corner, called strike, 1-1. One and one. Swing and a foul tip into the glove, it's 1-2. and two. Swing a line drive into right field. That'll be a base hit. A one-out base runner here for the Cavers. And Morris will be the hitter. Now number five, Peyton Morris. One on. Morris with a chopper to third. Going to be a tough play for Sullivan, but he throws in time. Bassett advances to second on the play, but now two away. And it'll be McGowan, the last chance here for the Cavers.
Ball one to McGowan. Check swing, ball two. Two and oh. Outside, ball three, three and oh. And with two outs, a walk's as good as a hit here. You need base runners. He'll take a strike, it's three and one. Strike two called as, as McGowan tossed the bat aside. So the cavemen down to their last strike. Inside, that's a ball. And McGowan had a little bit to say about that on his way down to first. And the hitter will be Valenzuela. Valenzuela, one for four on the day. And that's ball one. Outside, ball two. And timeout was called once again. Two O count to Valenzuela. Swing and a drive to center field. Should be playable. Jevening is under it. He makes the catch. And the side retired here in the bottom of the ninth. And the Sunset Apollos will get the win. It'll be a final score of four to nothing. Chun will get the win in relief. Morgan will take the loss. The Know Your Role postgame show is coming your way next. Visit travelmedford.org and search Know Your Role to see how this campaign is changing the culture of youth sports for the better. We'll step aside and come back and recap this one right after this. Choose a company that best represents you and our local community. Choose a company that focuses on relationships rather than transactions. Choose a company that empowers their employees and provides growth opportunities from within. Choose a company that shows compassion and rises to the occasion in times of need. Call a John L. Scott broker today. Pick it up. Let's go. Come on. Defense. Defense. What am I teaching you at home? Has this kid played before? Shoot it. Oh. Ah. Come on, ref. Open your eyes. Can't you see out there? So, which one's your kid? The referee. You can be a parent, athlete, coach, or an official. But you can only be one. Know your role. It's game day for a family get-together. Sherm's has the quality products and prices that will make you cheer. Sherm's Thunderbird Market, Medford's original discount grocery store. 
your game day adventures start at Pinnacle 365. Kick off your day with some morning motivation, then add some crunch to your game day with mouthwatering crispy crunchy chicken featuring the chicken crunch box, tenders crunch box, and introducing a contender for best chicken sandwich in the West, the Big Cluck. But wait, here's the real MVP move. Download and use the Peak Rewards app and save big on fuel every day with in-store purchases. Fuel your day, fuel your fun. Pinnacle 365. Whether it's game day or a family get-together, Sherm's has the quality products and prices that will make you cheer. Sherm's Thunderbird Market, Medford's original discount. Welcome back to Grants Pass High School and the Know Your Role post-game report. And it's the Sunset Apollos that get the win. A final score of four to five, a four run ninth inning for the Apollos was the difference. Four runs on five hits and no errors for Sunset. No runs on four hits and no errors for Grant's pass. Chun gets the win in relief. He, he pitched two and two thirds Gave up no runs and on two hits, he walked three, struck out three. Morgan takes the loss, pitching eight and a third, four runs on six hits, eight strikeouts and three walks for Morgan. Schoolcraft started the game for Sunset, pitched six and a third. No runs on four hits, a walk and 13 strikeouts. And Valenzuela in relief gave up one walk in two thirds of an inning. The couple of RBIs for Montoya, and he would he would be our player of the game if we if we had such a thing as he was came in pinch hit came into the game had. Went two for two, scored a run, drove in two runs. He also walked. So Montoya off the bench doing a nice job for Sunset. So the great pitching by Schoolcraft and Chun. And then a little bit of offense sparked by Montoya for the Cavers couple of players had two hits of Pete. Osborne was two for four and Carnes was two for three. So the Cavers lose this one. They will play again. We will be back here tomorrow for another four o'clock game. And just taking a look. So tomorrow, 4 o'clock. Grants Pass will take on Clackamas right here at Grants Pass High School. So that'll do it for the Know Your Role postgame show. We'd like to thank you for watching today's broadcast. We'd like to thank the Grants Pass High School Athletic Director, Clay Ronceville, for hosting the Lithia Superstore Game of the Night on TableRockSports.net. Special thanks to our head coaches, John Barnes for Sunset and Kyle Garrison for the Cavemen. Once again, the final score on our John L. Scott scoreboard, Sunset 4, Grants Pass nothing. This has been a special presentation of TableRockSports.net. Our executive producer is Joe Brett. With Mikhail Weish behind the lens, I'm Jeff Smith saying thanks for watching. Have a great night from Grants Pass High School here in Grants Pass, Oregon.